In the previous video, we walked through the configuration of the client provisioning policy. In this video, we're going to walk through the configuration of the posture policy for VPN. We will create posture requirements, which are conditions that need to be met. If they're not met, we will configure how they will be remediated. We'll place these requirements and posture rules in our posture policy. Let's start out by defining our posture conditions. To do so, let's navigate to Policy, Policy Elements, Conditions, and Posture. As you can see on the left-hand pane, there are several posture condition types we can configure. The anti-malware, antivirus, and anti-spyware conditions allow us to define what software we're running as well as how old the definition files are. The application conditions check if an application or process is running or not on the client. Compound conditions are made up of one or more simple conditions. There are many pre-built compound conditions that are available out of the box in ICE. For example, the PR auto update check rule checks to make sure that Windows updates are turned on. The disk encryption condition can specify which software is being used for encryption, the encryption state, and whether the hard drive is pending encrypted or partially encrypted. With the file condition, we can check the, for the existence of the file, the date of the file, or even the version of the file on the client. The firewall condition checks to see if a specific firewall product is enabled on the device. The patch management condition will check for a selected vendor's patch management product. Registry conditions check for the existence of a registry key or the value of the key on the client. The service condition checks to see whether or not a service is running on the endpoint. For the USB condition, this checks for the presence of a USB storage device. The Hardware Attributes condition provides a hardware inventory of the endpoint. Next, let's navigate to Policy Elements, Results, and Posture. As you'll notice, there's a remediation action for every posture condition type. This is where we would define how to remediate or correct the failed condition. In several of the remediation categories, there are pre-built common remediations that we can use. The other thing to be aware of is there are two kinds of remediations. Automatic remediation is performed by AnyConnect without intervention by the end user. Manual remediation requires the end user of the endpoint to resolve the compliance issue before the endpoint is allowed network access. For this lab, I'm going to configure application and hardware visibility, which doesn't require any remediation. I'm also going to use a pre-built firewall condition and remediation that comes with ICE. This should make sure that the firewall in the endpoint is enabled. In order to configure this, let's go to Requirements. By default, ICE has several common requirements pre-built for use in your posture policy, but I'm going to create some custom ones in this exercise. This rule will be for Windows All for the operating system. The AnyConnect compliance module we'll be using is 4.x or later. Posture type will be AnyConnect. And for the condition, we're going to go to User Defined, then Application Conditions. And I'll pick the default application condition. And let me go ahead and change the name really quickly. This is going to be VPN App Visibility. And I'm not going to really need to create a remediation on this. I'm going to then create another rule below that. This rule is going to be for my hardware attributes check. I'm going to name it VPN Hardware Viz. And the operating system will be Windows All. The compliance module version will be 4.x. Posture type is AnyConnect. And the condition will be under User Conditions, and it's Hardware Attributes Check. And once again, there's no need for a remediation for this kind of rule. Now I'm going to create one more rule. I'm going to name this VPN Firewall Requirement. The operating system will be Windows All. The compliance module will be 4.x or later. And it's going to be any connect. And we'll use the condition of firewall, one of the pre-built conditions. That's the default firewall condition rule for Windows. For remediation, we're just going to do a text message only to please enable your firewall.
Now let's go ahead and save this. Now that we've tied our conditions with the remediations and the requirements, they're still not enforced yet. We need to add them to the posture policy in order for them to be evaluated. To do so, let's go to policy and then posture to configure that. Just like with our conditions, remediations, and requirements, there are also pre-built posture rules that we can use. They're disabled by default, but if we wanted to, we can enable them at any time if we wished. For the purposes of this lab, we're going to go ahead and create a new posture rule. I'm going to set the grace period for this new rule to three minutes. And I'll name the rule VPN posture rules. The operating system will be Windows All, and the compliance module will be 4.x or later. Of course, it'll still be posture type for any connect. And for the other conditions, we're going to create a new condition. It's going to be our device, device type, and firewall. For the requirements, I'm going to add the three requirements I previously created for VPN app visibility, VPN firewall requirement, and VPN hardware visibility. After doing so, I'll click done and I'll save this posture policy. And now that that's saved, that's brought us to the end of this video. So we're going to go ahead and pick this up in the next video as we're configuring the policy set.